Animal Crossing New Horizons is a game about routines, and no matter how you play, there's always something to do each day. If you want to get the most out of your time on your deserted island, we recommend following these daily tasks to maximize all the rewards you can get, many of which can be done every day. Don't neglect your island friends. Be sure to talk to each of your villager neighbors every day to see what's up. The more you chat, the better friends you'll be and the less likely they'll want to leave your island. After around six days of chatting, you'll be able to give them gifts and they can return the favor. Of all the tasks you can complete on the island, only one offers consecutive bonuses for the diligent residents. Check in at the resident services terminal each day to get bonus Nook Miles, from 50 on your first visit all the way to 300 on your seventh consecutive day and every day afterwards. Even if you only play for a little bit, it's worth doing. While in resident services, be sure to check the recycling bin. It may not always have anything of note, but anything you find is usually worth selling and you may even find something to decorate your house with. Although this may seem a bit boring, trust us, there's more to trees than just branches. Take some time to shake each tree as you pass for a chance of getting extra bells or even a piece of furniture. You should always have a net equipped. If a wasp nest falls down, quickly capture it and you can sell them for 2,500 bells each. Everyone loves taking a stroll along the beach, but you should know that you can also find one message bottle each day containing a random DIY recipe. You should also see if any of your villagers are in their homes as they might be hard at work on a recipe they'll gladly share with you. Each island only has a few rocks on it and some you can't access until you have the right tools. So it's important to make sure to strike each rock stockpile as many iron nuggets and other resources will appear. Since one random rock will give you bells, you can easily earn over 16,000 bells a day just from the bell rock. Speaking of free money, you can also find one glowing spot on the ground each day. Dig up the spot for a free 1,000 bells, but the real tree is the investment. Bury it back and it will grow into a tree with three times the bells. It takes a few days to grow, but if you're diligent, you can get to a point where you're planting and harvesting bell trees every day. While you're out digging, be on the lookout for buried fossils. You can usually find three to five a day, and once you appraise them, you can either donate them to the museum or sell them for a good price. This one goes without saying, but always check what every vendor is selling. Timmy and Tommy rotate their furniture, wallpaper, and floors daily, and the Able sisters also rotate a lot of their clothing options. Even Tom Nook's terminal will usually sell a new KK Slider song each day. Many days your island may receive a random visitor and they aren't always waiting for you outside your home. Be sure to look around the island for a few new faces like Gulliver passed out on the beach or Wisp floating around the woods at night. Make sure to buy the slingshot recipe from Timmy as soon as you can as presents tied to balloons will float through your island fairly often. Be sure to check for a large gusting noise or look around for their shadow. Just be sure you don't pop the balloon while it's sailing over the water, as you might lose your random prize. Depending on the month, weather, and time of day you're playing, keep an eye out for rare bugs as you complete your other tasks. Not every bug is worth stopping for, so get familiar with valuable ones like an emperor butterfly or a tarantula. Fish are harder to judge, but be sure to do a bit of fishing in the ocean if it rains, as you might get something very valuable. Once you've helped build Nook's cranny, be sure to take a moment on Sunday to find Daisy May and buy some stacks of her turnips. Jot down the price you bought them for and be sure to check in with Timmy and Tommy on Monday through Saturday to see how much they are paying for turnips. Use your best judgment to sell back for higher than what you paid, but don't wait too long or they'll spoil by next Sunday. Finally, always check in to see what your list of daily Nook Miles Plus tasks are. They technically never end, but you should at least try to take out the initial list, as they all have a bonus multiplayer for completing them and often coincide with many of your daily tasks. And that's all for our list of things you should do daily in New Horizons. Even if you don't have time to do them all, even doing a few of these tasks can go a long way when building up your town from a deserted island into your personal paradise. Be sure to also check out how to unlock everything, things Animal Crossing doesn't tell you, and our review of the game. And for everything else, stick with IGN.